actually have an appointment <laughs> at 2.30, so, yeah. I know no one else understands my journey. A few of you do, but, or maybe those who do don't really say much. <laughs> but that's okay, you don't have to. My life to live, you know? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for being here. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I wanted to replay the little portion of the video that Chantel had from yesterday that was called Out of Shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary. And I thought this was quite interesting because Chantel is certainly giving us clues as to what she's up to, what this HR appointment was, and a little bit about the stuff as to how she tries to throw people off in her planner. It's a rabbit hole. Bear with me. We're going to get through it as quick as I can. But just put in your mind that uh, she has these things going on. I'm going to play my disclaimers real fast. And then we're going to get into this timeline real fast. Okay. All right. So I always like to say that obviously this is just for fair use only. It's, you know, I'm just using her clips to, to, to explain things and how she's going to be trying to really exploit people, all sorts of people. Obviously, this is a disclaimer. This is just for entertainment and education purposes only. It's nothing else of that nature. And then uh, trigger warning. Obviously, we, you know, we're going to be potentially talking about some of our other appointments that are coming up, but we're just going to kind of really focus on this one day today. And if you do like this type of content, I just got over 2,500 subs, and I'm so excited. I feel like I'm on my, my road to 5,000, so I appreciate everybody who has liked, commented, subscribed, left me clues about this mystery. Uh, it was Brooke who originally got me thinking about this, and I think a lot of other creators are starting to think that this HR immigration, which we'll look at again in a second, is the probably the place that she went to and when you see this uh timeline today i think you'll be agreeing with me okay so let me just say if you do like it and you thought we did a really good job explaining some of chantelle's odd timelines subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 5,000, and i certainly appreciate it those are the pets that fly over my house because uh, I live near a naval base here in the United States, a very large one. And uh, you know what? <laughs> one of the reasons why we keep talking about Chantel not getting to Kuwait uh, is for multiple reasons. But, you know, because there's a lot of conflict going on. But I think that uh, there's a tug between she and the husband. And I'm not even going to say his name because I destroy it every time. So I, if you heard of that little clip where she's at the wildlife sanctuary she says that she had that appointment at 2 30 p.m so i'm actually going to bring up to my stage a little bit of a timeline here we're going to take a look at some maps and to see how some of these things i'm actually let's look at her planner first let's look at the planner first okay so i'm gonna go small all right it's gonna come up the planner all right there okay <laughs> that's foodie's sad pancreas by the way because she's eating nothing good okay her pancreas always sad so this had no appointment day on it and i think it's appointments that are upcoming each one of these is a different line so i think she does that on purpose she just put hr at 8 45 a.m tip and then, so she'd already had this appointment, as we know at this point, and then Ottawa. So Ottawa is a different day. Ottawa and the HR are not the same, because I kept trying to figure out how was Ottawa and HR connecting? It didn't seem to make sense. And so now what I realize is Ottawa and that trip she had to the mall is a very different day than the day that she had the HR appointment. She didn't have them on the same day. Now, if she talks about some appointment in Ottawa, that might be her trying to throw people off the scent. But this is what I believe happens this day. And like I said, she's at the bird sanctuary when she says she has a 2.30 p.m. appointment that day. Okay. And she likes to throw, and Amberlynn does the same, different days so that 
you know, you're not really able to follow the timeline. And it, you know, for us, this is just a fun mystery. But for her audience who truly actually believes her and has some compassion towards her, it's really kind of shady to do it in such a way. And that's why I think some of these influencers and content creators are really problematic, especially ones like Chantal, who uh, absolutely scam their audiences out of money on a regular basis. So yeah, all it was a totally different day, okay? They are not the same days, all right? And she, because she hasn't ticked Ottawa. This is two. She just has it bullet pointed it. But these are different days, different appointments. They're not appointments on the same day. She's doing this on purpose. Okay, so let us go back to, she's obviously at this bird sanctuary. And I wanted to show you a little bit. Okay, we're going to go back because I've written this timeline down, okay? So this is just this one day. And we're not going to include the Ottawa day now. That's a whole different day. This is just the day she does the HR appointment and it makes sense on the timeline. And so I think she's actually, at the end of the day, she's having her family go along with her on this ride to supposedly get Salau into Canada. I think other people are believing that she's stringing him along on this idea that he's going to be coming to Canada because then that means she gets to return to Kuwait. And her goal is to be in Kuwait, sitting in the fault box in the sky and being waited on hand and foot by this guy. That's her end game. Both of them have an end game. And they're both using each other to get to the end game. And it's just who is the master manipulator. And I don't think Salah, the husband, has realized just what a manipulator an exploiter and narcissist and how toxic foodie beauty is. He's a romance scammer trying to get a passport to Canada. She is looking for somebody to let her just sit and eat and do whatever she wants and have somebody wait on her hand and foot and have her have, you know, the husband. So they're each bartering with one another. When the incident in December went down with Kybella, I believe that she was persuaded by Salah to go back to Kuwait because he could see that she may stay in Canada and just say to hell with it. And I think he then wooed her back to Kuwait. And so for the last three months, he's been wooing her to get her to, which is what she wants. She was, she wants to be wooed in Kuwait by this man and do her feedy content and, you know, just do what she does hanging out at the apartment. She looks miserable, but being in the apartment gets her away from all the troubles that she needs to solve in Canada, such as her bankruptcies, her back taxes, the fact that she can't get accommodation easily because she has a terrible credit history. She has so many problems in Canada that she would like to leave behind. So though she may not be happy in Kuwait, it gives her a chance to get away from her problems. And that she is a, a, a an escape artist for that. All right, let me not bore everybody. But that's kind of, I believe, what's going on. So in the planner, we saw she had an HR at 8.45 a.m. And she did not even tell her audience what this was. And there's been a lot of speculation. And I think we narrowed it down to HR immigration. And I think she's using this to keep him on the hook. And she'll even take, like I said, her family down the interstate with her. Okay, so let me bring up real fast the um, little bit about where this um, sanctuary is. And uh, I'll show you um, where um, this trip happened on this timeline here. Okay, all right. So this is the... <laughs> Up a Canada migratory bird sanctuary. Okay. And it's located. Oh, no, I don't need not so, logging into Facebook. Uh, not a Facebook person. Uh, 5591 Country Road, Ingleside, Ontario, Canada. Ontario is a province. Okay. I've been learning my Canadian geography. Okay. 
So that's a little Facebook page. Looks beautiful. Totally support this. Give it a like. Okay. Let me get over to this next tab. All right. I'm going to share another tab, which is the immigration office's address. All right. So I'm going to stop this screen. So that was that address. And the Canadians are going to know this. Okay. But the rest of us around the globe are a little bit ignorant. We are not aware. Okay. So this HR Immigration is a huge uh, immigration consultancy firm. And so I think she's trying to show to him that, she, you know, look at me, I'm making the appointments, I'm talking to the people without really having to do anything to string him along so that she can get back to Kuwait as soon as possible. Because she doesn't want to deal with the taxes. Taxes are due at the end of the month in Canada. It's April the 30th. We do not believe it's h and Block. That is far too responsible for her. She doesn't want to pay her taxes. She wants to get back to Kuwait and avoid those taxes. I promise you. And whatever free healthcare or whatever appointments that she has to have, like uh, her mental health appointment. So I think probably what got bolted in the family was you come along to this mental health appointment and we will... Um, take and support you to go to this HR immigration. So I think that's why she's so unhappy about the appointment on the 18th. I think this appointment that she said at 2.30 and people are confused about the timeline has nothing to do with the April 18th appointment. That That is a timeline throw off by Foodie. She, did, she threw that off. She did the trip to the HR immigration down by Toronto, and I dare to say the name because it's Mississauga. Oh God, I know I ruined it. I tried, people. Um, <laughs> down by Toronto, okay. Um, and uh, now that I destroyed the name, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but yeah, she went down there, <laughs> and she went to the bird sanctuary on the way down there. Although it was a completely different day, but she's just you know she's using her family. To get her because everyone's trying to figure out if that was the 18th. No, it's today. She's got this mental health. That's the trade off. The trade off is, is she's got to go to all these other appointments because she was trying to get sympathy from her audience by taking her butt to the hospital. Though I did hear her family might have had norovirus. Who knows? Anyway, if you want to see, I'll link up here the video that I talk over all about HR immigration if you want to learn a little bit more about them. All right. But there, oh, sorry, let me not highlight that address. I highlighted it, but it makes it difficult to see. So it's this address down here, okay? And it's over here, and this is the Toronto area. Okay, so she says 8.45, and somebody had once said, and I'm sorry if I'm not remembering the channel, that that sounds like a time maybe she left to go somewhere. So it makes sense. She left her home at 8.45 a.m., and there we have that day where she's at the gas station and getting the bagel and looking like stressed out. Now she has that leopard skin, ugly worm colored hoodie on, but I think she is cold and there's the darker top that we see her later on in the wildlife sanctuary. And that's what we see her wearing. I think that was under the hoodie. I think she was wearing the hoodie like a jacket. And so she took the hoodie off and then she put a scarf on and that's what she went out to the wildlife sanctuary because it's the same colored uh, flesh-toned abaya um, or head pop, um, skull cap type thing. And if I'm wrong with the language, I do apologize. Part of the abaya is, um, I think that's the correct language, so I'm, I apologize. <laughs> well, loosely raised Church of England. Uh, that's not true, because I did go to church a lot as a child. I apologize. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, uh, I just think, and that's part of how she threw it off. Oh, I know what I was saying. So the one day she released the video that had the um, trip to uh, out and she was at the gas station and then she stopped somewhere and showed us like ducks in a parking lot, which could put her near a bird sanctuary. And then she was eating a uh, flour crust pizza. And then she had like, I think a lot of filler footage. And then she shows us a day where she is going out to Ottawa and she's doing stuff in Ottawa. And somebody says they heard a male voice in my video, just uh, her video, sorry. Well, well, they were watching mine and heard in hers a male voice. So I'm going to go back and look at that. Uh, anyway, she um, then 
shows the bird sanctuary the following day. So, and then she mentions this 2.30 appointment. And this is where everyone's like, well, I thought she said the appointment's on the 18th. This is released on the 17th. It's because that 2.30 appointment was days before. Whatever day, we don't know. Because her timeline all funkadoodled, okay? We just don't know. And she has not been going live. So she's not trying to give us a great timeline. But she's certainly been up to a lot this week. Okay. <laughs> all right. So there's h and all. There's the bird sanctuary. Now I'm going to quickly share the map of the route from the bird sanctuary to the HR immigration. Okay, so I'm going to share this screen instead. And uh, you'll see kind of how it works out here. And then we'll talk about the timeline on my slide real fast. Um, I think we may know what she was up to that day. What date it was, it was, if it was Monday, that's potentially the date that she went out. Um, you know, she had lots of little vlog videos. So she's been out, she's been recording things. She has them sometimes just long enough that she can get monetized sufficiently through YouTube. Okay, so this is the actual route. If she were to take from the bird sanctuary down to this HR immigration office. Okay, all right. So this is actually uh, reverse. So let me go the other way. Okay, so my belief is this is Cornwall. At 8.45, she and her aunt planned, I think it was potentially her aunt because she was going to the immigration office and she wants to look like she's got supportive family. Um, and she had the cauliflower pizza crust that evening. So that has me think she spent the day with the aunt and probably the evening, night. So that was a day she was with the aunt. And maybe the aunt, like I said, and the family said, you do this, we do this. And you go to this appointment here on the 18th in um, for your mental health and whatever other appointment she has coming up on April 23rd. So I think that was a bargaining chip, but she's still, you know, using, <laughs> she's going to be a waste of time at a mental health appointment because she's a, my professional opinion. And I am a licensed registered nurse here in the United States, have been trained to be a nurse practitioner, uh, in acute, uh, care adult, uh, era and gerontology focused. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot to say on that one. Anyway, um, so I have studied some psychology and we talked the other day about narcissism, manipulation and uh, toxicity, if you want to check out that video too. So Cornwall, uh, from here to this distance, um, let me not try to lose everything. It's probably maybe I'm just looking at the map and kind of guessing if this is a four hour, 10 minute journey for her to get to this little office right here for the HR, that's the HR immigration office. Look at the highway it takes. See, Ottawa's was completely opposite direction. Okay, so that 8.45, there was nothing to do with Ottawa. This was the time that she got on the road in Cornwall to get to a 2.30 appointment at HR immigration. And that, and I will show you in a second how long that journey takes. Because <laughs> I think it's like four hours and 30 some minutes uh, on a fast interstate. And I saw, I have a timeline that you'll see. And so I think it's only a very short distance between this and the bird sanctuary. So I think they stop, because this is the bird sanctuary right in here, okay? Um, I think what her aunt and her plan to do, because it's nice in the morning, is, and her aunt, I think, is like uh, eating like uh, vegetarian foods, and potentially they were getting ready to take this long drive that they got in the car. They set off, they stopped at the bird sanctuary. Maybe they stopped 30 minutes here, walked around a little bit, got some exercise, saw how pretty it was, and then continued on this four hour drive to get to this office, probably arriving around this area a little bit after two, parking and then having the 2.30 appointment. And then they just turned around after the appointment and drove, and maybe they took turns driving and drove all the way back to uh, Cornwall and whichever, and I haven't looked at the video, whatever stops they needed to make, 
you know, for might be video footage that we see, like the parking lot with the geese. Maybe, you know, that I think she showed something like that. Maybe that was on the way home. Um, and she just filmed it because they were stopping somewhere. So you can see this is a four hour and 10 minute journey. And to say that she left at, you know, 8.45 and had 2.30, that's five hours uh, and 45 minutes of which is only a four hour and 10 minute journey. So there's an extra hour um, or to kill, which 30 minutes is the drive from Cornwall, then 30 minutes is at that bird sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just go back over to my uh, previous video um, to show you kind of the distance between Cornwall and this place. And it kind of shows you also that time. And this, in my estimation, is what Chantel was doing that day. And she, I think the evidence is starting to show up quite well. And I think it's not because she really wants him in the country. I think she's showing him all the things that could bring him to the country, but I think he, she is playing him. I think her game is to get out of Canada, away from her responsibilities and into Kuwait. Salah, Salah, so I always say it wrong. The husband's end game is to get to Canada. And so he's been showing like this very happy married life because that's what immigration likes to see. And so he's into that, you know, and he's playing along because he thinks he's going to get himself to Canada. And she's just lapping it up and loving it up and twisting and manipulating everybody along the way and exploiting everybody and exploiting her subs and trying to exploit the audience. Think she's exploiting reaction channels and all this other stuff. That Fiddy's a class act, man. And she's going to madly manipulate. Okay. There's no health appointment. She's not taking care of her taxes. She's got this man being strung along and he won't pick her up from the airport at Kuwait probably until she gets this taken care of and her health appointments. Because remember, I think he wants, needs to keep her alive. <laughs> He's scared her health going to give out. Oh, she's just taking advantage of people again, exploiting the family so that, you know, they can um, get, uh, uh, you know, her help and she don't care to get help man she loves to be in pain and wearing glasses and looking pathetic and weak and this that and the other so people can feel sorry for her and just forget how much she had uh, abused her animals and i apologize but i always say these are tough topics how much she has uh you know taken the rugs and uh, how much she's party favored how much she has spat in people's faces literally as far as you know being ungrateful with her contributions from her audience she was like nasty to the people who even did contribute to that just very dire paypal scam she's just a classic toxic narcissistic manipulator okay i'm gonna show my last piece and get out of here because i can be long-winded but this is important and I think people should be aware of this person um, being the way she is. Okay, so let's just get, um, what did I want to show here? I had it marked here at 3327. Okay, I showed the planner. So at 3327, I had marked it. Oh, that's where the map is. Okay. I was like, why do I want that? It doesn't really matter what it is. Make it big. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. So, as you can see, by chance, uh, this is if they went via the Owen 401 West, it would take, it's 461 kilometers. Look at this, okay? So, this was at 8.09 a.m. on a Tuesday. And see, this is rush hour time. It's a five-hour, 35-minute journey. Get them around just a little bit before 2 o'clock at that office where that HR immigration is. But I think then they left a little bit later than this hour at 8.45. They stopped around about here. It's probably about here, wherever the little bird sanctuary was, right in here. And then took that rest of that four-hour journey down with less traffic towards uh, that office. And that's what happened that day. 
That's the timeline. That's what she's up to. That's what she's doing. <laughs> that is that is at my time my belief uh, as to what uh, is the HR appointment. All of us a different day. She is using the husband. She is using her family. She's trying to use her YouTube audience. She has been in my comment sections trying to mislead and manipulate my comment section. So this person is not without doing these things. And I'll show you that real quick before I finish out how she's been trying to manipulate people in my comment section, okay? I gotta show you this file real fast and then we will be done. Uh, with And then I'll show you the appointment, sorry. Um, do I still have it? Is it this one? No. Hmm. Might not have it anymore. But uh, if you see my live stream for last night, uh, I probably cleared it out. I tend to clear things very quickly. Uh, you will see where she had um, been telling people that she is just a foodie, is just impulsive, so forth. So if you see Sarah Lee, <laughs> that's her. And it's an old account, girl. Get a new one. Okay, let's get this last thing. I almost finished out and I forgot my full timeline here. Okay. Because I, oh, let me get back. <laughs> you know, I used to be a school teacher. I got to get my timelines over here. Okay. Let me pop myself down. Look, stop playing. Stop playing. I keep thinking I'm stopping. I keep getting the sad pancreas. Okay. So <laughs> let me bring myself away completely. Okay. All right. So I believe she, the HR 845, I think we've solved that. That's HR immigration. Appointment at 2.30, that's HR immigration. That 8.45 was the time she left on the road. This is the same day that Foodie visited the Wild Bird Sanctuary. Visit to Sanctuary is on the way to the 2.30 appointment. If you see that very beginning clip, she said, I'm on my way to my 2.30 appointment which was not in the planner, okay? Maybe she wanted us to think that was an honor. She's all over the place. She's doing this on purpose. Family is supporting her and Salah's desire to bring him to Canada. So she's using, oh, yeah, he's going to come in and be a great husband. Look how good he treats me, this, that, and the other. After they heard all that crap with Kybella. And then he realized, oh, shoot, you know, maybe I'm blowing my chances over here. So I got to behave or behave without her finding out if I'm doing my dirty in the red room. And then this Ottawa trip was a different day. And she wrote in the planner on, on like the same day it looked like because she was showing the meals and the walks and all this stuff to throw the audience off. So we don't know if like <laughs> those dill chips and was like at the end of the day on Ottawa and she's walked 30 minutes all together. And that was over a two time day time period. One day she went to uh this office hr immigration the second day she went to ottawa two days 30 minutes of walking uh one she had the bagel and the orange juice and then i think she talked about picking up those dill crackers or dill chips or something somewhere else so i think that's where she's trying to play her timeline okay all right everybody if you do like this type of content do subscribe I love for you to uh, leave me a like, and I'm thinking that we should have a wild bird in the comment sections today. So if you did make it to the end of this, please leave me a little wild bird. It can be any type of wild bird. I love guessing. All right, guys, appreciate it. Bye. Bye.